Hello, everybody. This is an impromptu episode recording from Esoteric Atlanta with my good friend Stephanie Schapp from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. We're recording this on a Sunday, and for me, Sundays are my crazy days. I typically don't film on Sundays because I teach all day, so I'm literally in between classes right now, but we got the download yesterday that it was urgent that we start to speak about the book of Revelation. And I do, in my personal opinion, believe that this is because a lot of, uh, we, we obviously know that the Christian church in general is satanic. And a lot of people are being fed this basically, in my opinion, from my research, bullshit that we're entering into the apocalypse. And so it's ca causing fear in people. And I'm here to assure you the apocalypse already happened. We're at Gog and Magog, and that's a really, what's really good news for us. Um, before we get started though, uh, Stephanie and I, uh, in divining, and I know that there is some of you that have watched my show that said that you have channeled, uh, Magdal Mary Magdalene before. And we're also told by her to call that she wants you to call her Maggie which is so awesome to hear that we're all getting the same thing and we don't know each other, that Ma Mary Magdalene is very insistent that she be called Maggie and not Mary. Um, St Stephanie, do you want to take it from here? Why do we think she doesn't want to be called Mary? So Bryce and I were trying to figure out why are there so many Marys in the Bible? And this even goes to Mother Mary, which I don't believe was also her name either. And you found it actually like a Jane... Hmm? You, you found an actual writing that gave potentially, potentially gave Mary. Yeah, Alma Mari. Alma Mari. Alma Mari was actually her name, according to this um, text. I still have to divinate on that, but we've been really diving into Mary Magdalene um, because she's been, um, you know, guiding Bryce and I into a lot of what we're divinating on lately. Um, she, her voice is coming in extraordinarily strong. Um, even to me lately, which is odd, it's normally, um, Yashua is my connection. And so it's, um, she's very insistent. And what we were getting is in my channeling, um, I was getting that Mary is actually kind of just like an alias Jane Doe name, just being thrown out there for many, uh, characters in the Bible. Um, maybe they didn't know the name or maybe there's more sadistic reasons behind it. But for whatever the reason may be, we're strongly getting that um, she, she her name was actually Magdalene. It's not the place. It's actually her name. Her first and name. And so she go, went by, well, she wants to go by uh, Maggie for short, Magdalene um, being her actual name. Mary was not her name. And we've been, I mean, it's been coming in with our clear audience gifting. And it's also coming in with the cards in the pendulum dousing, which I haven't done much of uh, pendulum dousing lately. I've been very careful about that, but my cards are indicating um, that this is accurate. Um, again, take it with a grain of salt. Um, just divination and like with all divination um, if it resonates great if it doesn't great but this is what we're picking up on if you're a channeler of some sort and you want to go and confirm that for yourself I yeah. I recommend it just so because um, I don't like to say that my cards are 100% right all the time because that's far from the truth I'm just the conduit and I'm just reading my cards as best as I can with the knowledge that I had. I still have a long ways to go with my uh, tarot knowledge and um, I do the best I can with what I know at this particular here now moment. Yeah. So. And I personally believe in my opinion yeah. that the name Mary Magdalene was more sinister because they wanted us to believe she was Mary of Magdala and she was not from Magdala. We know that she was not from Magdala. There's so much evidence out there, not even through divination, that she was not from Magdala. Um, and so I believe that they are trying to hide most, a lot of these women, not just Mary Magdalene, but a lot of the women that are spoken about in the New Testament were given the name Mary or Miriam. And I believe that they were trying to strip their identity, who they really were. Um, and so on this channel, and it might take me a while to break this habit, we are only going to be referring to her as simply as Magdalene. In my own personal life, I do call her Maggie 
as Stephanie can attest, I, I actually do call her Maggie, but just so people, people got that too, didn't they? Other yeah, people that, have been getting that she wants to be called, called Maggie. Maggie. So it's not just us that's actually getting yeah. it. Other this is important to her. And I think it's also <laughs> important to our story as humans as well, because she was just as important as Yahshua ben Joseph, who we've been told was Jesus, but his real name was Joshua ben Joseph. They like to change the names, don't they? Um, and so yeah. from, from this moment on the channel, I will refer to as Magdalene. So we know who we're referring to again in my, my private life. I do call her Maggie. Um, so she will from henceforth be just known as simply Magdalene. Okay. So um, just wanted to put that out with you guys. Cause that was really important to her. Um, and so now for the, now for the main event, you guys, we're going to be talking about the book of Revelation today, um, something that Stephanie has read forwards and backwards multiple times because you had a lot of fear around this, didn't you, when you were in the church? Glad you brought this up. So when my first awakening began in 2020, August of 2020, I had this very profound moment. I'm, I'm an avid gardener. I haven't even started a garden this year because I've been so busy and don't know when I'm going to move and all that. But anyways to not get off track here i had this i can't even describe the moment it i heard in the spirit the word urgency and i'm like what and that's all that's the only thing i heard but it was so profound it brought me to my knees and i i, I had been suspecting we were in the book of revelation anyways with the outbreak of, of a, a sickness um and so it I can't describe what exactly happened because you would have to experience it, but it was a spiritual awakening. It was the beginning of my spiritual awakening. And um, I grew up Catholic, but I had been in the Pentecostal Baptist type of churches on and off most of my adult life. I'm 35 now. And um, I, um, I've been reading this book more than any other book in the Bible ever since I became a, what we would, be labeled as a born again Christian, accepting Christ in your life, the whole church indoctrination thing. Because I, I wasn't, I didn't consider myself that when I was in Catholic church because it's a lot different. Um, still equally as evil, but um, I went back and I read this over and over again. When I had the spiritual awakening, it had been a couple of years. There was times I avoided the book, and there was times that I dived into it because I was trying to prepare myself. It's funny because I always knew my whole life I was going to see the end of the world. Now we know it's end of the world as we know it, right? It's not end of the, it's the end of the 3D realm going into the 4D realm, <coughs> 5D consciousness, Christ consciousness. So when I fully awakened uh, 2021, January of 2021, I, I had that red pill. I watched the fall of the C-A-B-A-L um, on BitChute and all that thing. And, and I, got very well acquainted to what was actually happening and not necessarily it's doomsday. I went back and read this book with a totally different set of eyes. And I'm like, Oh my God. And, and that's when I uh, stumbled upon Melissa Redhill's book and all that kind of stuff now. And it's not to bash anybody out there. What we're finding though, is there was this wonderful period of Tartaria, which was a thousand years long. And that was actually a time of peace. So we're finding through our own um, research and our own um, spiritual downloads that we're getting from our guides and source or universe creator, whatever you call God, the real God, is that we're actually going, we're, this is the time of ascension, which is in uh, chapter 21 of Revelation. It's the actual ascension. And so let's, ascension, can we pause there and let me just read that i have my bible here with me guys <coughs> as i told you guys my bible is simply used for research now that's it so let my, me, me too. Let's, let's just read that it, this is the new jerusalem i don't think the new jerusalem is a spaceship and i'll tell you guys why so uh revelation 21 then i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea. I have heard, I think I've mentioned this on the channel before, that water is not actually normal for our planet. And I've been posting articles on Twitter. They're discovering now roads under the sea, mm -hmm. actual roads. 
All right. So I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of the heaven from God prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. This is what I think of that. Now in China, they're starting to see a red sky. If you find, if you research Tartaria, you're going to find a graph of what our sky supposedly allegedly looks like with the firmament. Blue is the firmament, then red, then purple. The Prince song, 1999, the sky was turning purple. There were people running everywhere. So I see this coming down from the heaven. I see this as the firmament dissolving, the prison dissolving, allowing for our real sky, our real sun to come in and upgrade the earth. Does that make sense? Can I quickly explain why we have a firmament? Mm -hmm. So at the time of Atlantis, when the reptil this is what I've researched. So not saying it's 100% accurate. Take it with a grain of salt. It resonates great. Um, reptilians came to earth and invaded earth's, or what we know is uh, the, the, the continents that we know of, right? And uh, so what happened was, the uh, off-worlders that are uh, are benevolent uh, are of light and love. Um, put this this uh, like a prison system over Earth because it was to trap in the reptilians, so they couldn't go anywhere. So that when we did ascend, because it was written in the stars, it's this has been a very long prophecy from the the Law of One talks about it. Um, heck, the Bible talks about it in, in different wording, right? You have the Hopi prophecy, which also talks about met all these different prophecies from all different places talk about this. But the firmament was to keep them in this this dome so they couldn't escape and go off to different planets and escape and, and try to take out other planets. Yeah. Like Lyra, for instance. Lyra is a planet they did destroy. Yep. And um, so this was to keep them in for the time being so that when the time came for their judgment, for their destruction, they were cornered. They're cornered. They're backed into a wall. Literally a wall. It's and and think of it too as the Truman Show. Yep, they tell you the Truman Show. He had his own personal firmament. Yeah, they tell you. Well, what yeah, we know that you. Hillary. We know Hillary was trying to break the firmament. Oh yeah, she tells you in a speech. We yeah. tried to break the glass. Yeah, they tried. Well, that's what's happening. Um, they go on to say, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, now the dwelling of God is with men and he will live with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things. The old order of things has passed away the matrix. And what does it say? Um, it says, let's go back and look at this again. He will be their God. Who has the God of this planet been for a while? Lucifer. So why does it say here? They're telling you the source creator is going to come down and actually be with us here. Lucifer will no longer be. He will be their God. So this is written from the perspective of somebody who understands that Lucifer is the God of this planet. Okay. Okay. The whole Bible talks about Lucifer being the God of this planet the whole entire time. And also, too, this is where human beings are going to start to realize God isn't some mythical being up in the sky, but it's within our own soul. Yeah. God is in your own DNA. Yeah. So we are becoming one with God. That's, yeah. that's part of the ascension process. That's too. samadhi. That's samadhi and yoga is becoming one with, with what's already within you. Mm -hmm. Um and he who is seated on the throne says, oh, and also that there will be no more death. So the Sophia Co. talks about that, that we're in the mm -hmm. age of miracles where we possibly won't really experience mortality anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I know I feel like I'm getting younger, like oddly getting younger as I get older. Yeah. Age, I feel like my body's actually turning. Somebody around. we know, somebody we know has grown two inches in the last six months. Grown. Because by the way, we're not supposed to be as short as we are. I'm not supposed to be a puny little 4 11 -er. <laughs> I'm going to shoot up one day. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're going into our light body. So we'll be growing. We'll be getting younger. Um, gifts are going to be coming online. Activations are going to be coming online. It's all part of this process. And that's why we're getting all these like illnesses, like the, um, 
like uh, I burned a fever for five days straight recently. Yeah. That that specifically was my body upgrading itself. Um, you know, people are starting to get nausea, ascension sickness, you know, so that's what that is. It's your body upgrading. It's like growing pains, growing pains, growing up didn't feel comfortable, did they? They hurt. They, yeah. they were aching in your, in your limbs and same exact thing. Your, your DNA is now growing from two strands to 12 strands, going yeah. from carbon to crystalline. Cause we're not, we don't belong to Lucifer anymore. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to say, he who is seated on the throne saying, I am a making everything new. Then he said, write these, this down for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And to him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. The spring of the water of life, fountain of youth. So they have their fountain of youth, which is the red mm -hmm. drink what is our fountain of youth there there's always a mirror so now we're coming back to the and he says there's no cost to this his source creator's fountain of, he's saying specifically i will give drink without cost the other fountain of youth that starts with an a there's a cost there's a price to pay but through source there's no cost so that's what he's saying here he's talking about their all right um, he who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God. Sorry, y'all know Bible papers are thin. And he will be my son, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolite leaders, and all of the liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. What's he saying? He's saying those of us who woke up, those of us are ascending because we saw the truth. We're taking from the nectar of life that's free because we're finding that, that inside of us that was always there to begin with. And he's actually even talking about practicing now magic arts. I don't think magic itself is bad. We know that they've manipulated. I think they're talking about black magic, those who practice black magic. Pharmakia. Pharmakia. Yep. Um, now, when he says sexually immoral, I'm not, I don't believe in that you have to be married to have sex at all. Like, that's ridiculous. This is, no, it's black sex magic. Is yeah, what it's talking black. About it's there. like, yeah, it's what they do. It's not what we do. All right. So don't let the fundamentalists fool you with that. So, okay. So I just wanted to show you guys that because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now let's talk a little bit before we, about the timeline that we, you and I are working with Stephanie. So we know our history is completely bunk right? It's bunk. Okay. Um, please educate yourself on Tartaria. <clears throat> this week, Shanti and I are going to be starting a breakdown on, Tart on Tartaria on Aquarius Rising Africa. The fall of, of Atlantis, which happened a lot closer to where we're living now. It wasn't some far off distant thing. It was a lot closer to our time now. That was the apocalypse. We even got Yahshua in a channeling saying that was the apocalypse. Right. And that's when the water, the flood came, Noah's Ark, the water came. And now we're saying here with Gog and Magog at the end, there will, the sea will leave the earth. The water came with the fall of, of Atlantis, divided the continents because obviously there was just land everywhere. And then now. All right. So then there was the, the, the tribulation after that. And then they had Tartaria, which was the a thousand years of peace where the Satan had to go away and be held in bondage. And then um, the people who are experts with our Tartaria say the start of the end of Tartaria came at what the end of the 1700s. So now we're in Gog and Magog. Yay. Yay. That's good news. Do not. I had somebody on my Twitter basically leave a very abusive comment to me because I am saying we're in Gog and Magog. And how dare I? Because we're at the apocalypse and things are bad. No. That's what that there are infiltrators in the truther community that say they are Christian that are pushing the apocalypse because they don't want you to know the truth. Apocalypse already happened. My friend, we're post. Oh, there's an orbit. By, we're post apocalypse right now. This is good news. All right. And we all, we all know we lived through the apocalypse. Anyway, we all were in Atlantis. We already did that. Why are we going to relive mm -hmm. it? We did I that think that's why the fear comes back too. Yeah, and so they're triggering, they, they know this, and so they're triggering, they're trying to get you <coughs> to that place of fear through the church, 
when I was in the church, we were taught to fear revelation as well. Because why? Because they're trying to hijack this for Satan. Still a war, guys. Even though it's prophesied that we are going to ascend, and the probability is us ascending and going positive, fourth density positive, it's still a fucking war. And these Lucys, as Shanti calls them, the Luciferians, the Lucys, they're psychotic narcissists. They're going to try to fuck with you so that our collective conscious goes in a very low vibration, goes the, goes the opposite way, so that Satan still dominates. And we go into the new, starts with a W, and then order. I can't say it on screen, but, all right, the great reset, right? So, anyway, okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. And I blocked that person because I'm not going to put up with that bullshit on my page. Stop it. Do your own research. Facts don't lie. All right. Even if you don't agree with us, there's no reason to be an a hole about it either. I, I don't understand. That's how. That's but the Christian church is satanic, so of course they teach you to kind of be that way. Because it obviously is showing the the darkness in you if you're projecting that kind of behavior. You know, you need to stop it. If if you were like, they need to stop and think like, does the God that loves everyone on this planet? And yes, He loves everyone. Yeah, He She. As mother, father, God, mm -hmm. as we were not told that, by the way, um, what kind of God wants you to uh, be uh, to project yourself in a very hostile manner? Yeah. Ask Lucifer yourself God. that if you're if you're a fundamentalist, ask yourself that. And I, I don't go for that behavior. If I get any, anything like that on my um you're off. You're off my yeah, channel. I just blocked it. Automatic. I don't even respond to nonsense yeah. like that because that's no, I don't, I don't have room for that kind of vibration. Mm -mm. No. Well, before we even get into the other parts of revelation, can we go ahead and just pull on that Stephanie? Can we ask the cards? Yep. Are we in the timeline? Are we at Gog and Magog now? And while she's pulling that guys, the video that uh, the money mystery video, we talked about this. This is why there are a lot of infiltrators in the truther community that are doing past life readings because they understand that whoever controls the past controls the future and whoever controls the present controls the past. So they're trying to give you these bullshit readings that mirror the timeline we were taught in school by the controllers so that collectively we're on a negative timeline because we are very powerful people. And so that is another reason why I'm telling you right now, don't get past life readings unless you absolutely trust the person who is giving you the timeline reading because a lot of them are bullshit. Okay. We are absolutely in Gog and Magog. Absolutely without hesitation. And well, okay. Number one, it's card reading. So please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. I don't want to, I don't want to claim this one. I'm yeah. accurate. I'm just the conduit. Stephanie's not the reader that says my cards are always right. So no. that out there. guys, I am so okay with being wrong. I am so okay with it. In fact, it's scary for me to even say, oh no, I'm always right. Like, yeah. I'm one of my biggest pet peeves, and this is before I was even in this community of truthers. This has been my whole life. My biggest pet peeve is humility. If you are not humble, I'm not going to associate myself with you. Hum humility is so important to me. Yeah. Humility. Is, and, and I have to, I'm still human. I'm not perfect, but I have to rein myself in too. And am I being humble about this? So <clears throat> anyways, I'm not going to get on a big spiel with that and try to. Well, I want to pause people. and say, so the person who says her cards are always right. Her cards are never right. Think about oh. that. They've never been right. But yet people are spell casted and still continue to be hypnotized, right? Just FYI. All right. All right. What the cards tell us. Okay. We have an Ace of Pentacles uh, first off, but I also want to share this. We have the world card. So that's like a major arcana change. Um, and in the near future, that brings in uh, celebration um, happiness. This is also a twin flame yeah, card. Twin flame card as well. is, <laughs> the eleven eleven. You see eleven eleven. Yeah, twin all the time. Card. Every five minutes, I see eleven. Yep. Um, in addition to that, the ascension with these two together. I'm getting ascension with those two together. Um, so I'm not seeing anything to do with a, a horrible apocalypse in this particular reading. To me, this this comes off pretty good. This is 
a, a beautiful worldwide change. This is a change of uh, happiness and celebration. So there's nothing bad in this reading to indicate that there would be uh, apocalypse, flood, anything like that. So let's ask this. Let's ask the cards this. Is the church in general trying to convince people this is a, the apocalypse because they're part of the satanic agenda? And they know. I'm going to more or less specifically ask the pastors and priests who are satanic, if they're purposely pushing it, because we do know there's pastors and priests who intentions are good, good. right? They've just so, been brainwashed too. <laughs> yeah. All right. The satanic pastors and priests, are they trying to push the apocalypse to bring in the negative timeline? I got to pull a couple more cards, trying to make sense of my cards that I'm getting. So that's like giving of information or, well, this is giving of money really, but for the, for the, the question's sake, this is like, they're dishing out information. And the people below are just eating it up. And I'm literally getting the full card as like an actual fooling. Yeah. So it's like giving a false information, but it looks like it's of love. It looks like it's coming from a good place. Um, looks like they're really like trying to really get it out there now because we're at the end of this whole thing. Um, this is fast movement and they've been working on this for quite some time because this is their victory if they get what they want. Um, and this could actually be like their spell casting. Through love bombing. And I asked, I, mean, I, asked, I just said, I said, give me one card as to why these pastors are promoting that this is the apocalypse. And I got the three of swords to cause heartbreak, to cause fear. Yeah. So keep you in a low vibration so that we go on the timeline that they want. Yeah. And that's where I stopped following a lot of truthers because i don't resonate with this whole fear bombing either they love bombing they fear bomb so get any so i was advised by a very wise soul in my life who's very ascended not to get on any fucking spaceships because why until we've ascended why well we can't go on a we can't go in what we would deem outer space in our um two strand carbon copy dna bodies we have to be in our light bodies first and in order to be able to take that. And if they can shape shift into humans. If you're not fully ascended, you can't fully see the shape shifting. Yeah. If you're fully ascended and you're in your light body, which no one's fully in their light body just yet. If you're in your light body and those who are sending at a very rapid rate who are on the precipice, they're, we're the ones that are seeing the shape shifting. Oh, yeah. We figured that out, didn't we? We were watching people. I like, went back on camera when I wasn't recognizing it. And I saw it and I'm like, oh, my God, I see fangs. I see eyes shape shifting. Yeah. I, That's see, eyes, like I see the skin rippling and you can see the green underneath. And I went back when I was fully watching certain people, didn't notice it. And now that I've ascended to a certain level, I actually pick up on it now. So when you're fully in your 12 strand DNA body, and sorry, I get raspy. I just had Reiki done on my throat yesterday <clears> for <throat> obvious reasons of coughing. But um, when we're in our full light bodies, they won't be able to shape shift at all with you. We'll see it. The other thing that's happening too is those who are still stuck in 3D who will continue to stay in 3D are going to start not to even see you. You're yeah. going to be invisible to them because there's going to be two dimensions crisscrossing. This has been happening to me at the grocery store. Patients who loved me, who would recognize me in a heartbeat, suddenly like looking way past me, like I'm not even there. I don't even exist. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so if, if uh, reptilians can shape shift into humans that look nice, they can also shape shift into ships and off worlders. So until you're fully ascended, do not get on a yeah. ship first. Cause you're not going to come off that ship. No. Okay. You're just not going to. So don't let anybody trust don't let anybody trick you into getting onto a ship. We're not leaving this earth. This earth is ascending with us. I mean, Raw says this in the law of one, like this is the first time in all of the cosmos. Usually when a human being ascends, they, they take a life, they gather the knowledge of that life. They got to leave the body, 
go into soul form, reevaluate, activate, level up, come back into a new life with a more ascended soul. Same with the planet. When the planet ascends, all life has to get off of the planet so it can do its rebirth. This is the first time in all of the cosmos where a planet has been able to ascend with living beings on the planet ascending with the planet. That is why we are like the top rated reality show for the cosmos right now. And all the ships are sitting there watching because they don't know what the fuck is going to happen. They just want to see it, you know? And that is why um, all of the souls right now, as this wise person told me yesterday, all of the souls right now on earth that are ascending, we are very old souls and we had seniority um about coming down to this earth because so many souls wanted to come to the earth at this moment to experience this but we had the seniority i know i had a vision that i told 70 about i didn't have a choice i had to come back and i had i know exactly why i had to come back and i did not want to i had to come back so a lot of us did have to come back um it was part of our, co our soul contract to be here at this to just, just like what the hell was my soul thinking i know i didn't want to come back I remember this. I was not, I was not happy about the fact that I had to go back, back and see if I can go back into that memory before I incarnated and see what my soul was saying. I was pissed. Most likely my soul was probably like, heck yeah, sign me up. This is going to be a like, cake walk. Uh, and I get here and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Listen, if you watched our Monday episode, I told you I was gang R-A-P-E-D'd. Um, by the same coven and it killed me in that life um that's doing this to me now this is why i didn't want to come back i was like oh i'm so sick of this shit so but we're winning this time so you know yeah all right so where should we go now stephanie should we go back actually i want to stay in this vicinity and i want to read uh where the hell did i put it here it was on the same exact page um <clears throat> oh it's um, chapter 21, verse 23. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it for the glory of God gives it light and the lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor onto it. And the reason I brought that one up is because we have a sun simulator that is not our real sun that has been shining the light on the earth and we have a false moon. Yeah. So those are going to get turned off but we're not going to need them anymore because we'll have the central sun. And we know we've got a supernova coming. They have a supernova coming, which they're going to try to scare you about the supernova with the sun. Don't let it scare you. Don't let them scare you. Just like if you see aliens on TV, if they pull the alien cards in and they put them on TV, that's project blue beam. Just grab your popcorn for that because we know yeah, that. Just have fun with that. Yeah. Anything, anything the news throws at you, just get your popcorn out. Aliens are already amongst us. They're already here. Like, They've been here. Most you know? of us are incarnated in, you know, off-worlders. I yeah, mean, come so, on. So that, yeah. Um, and I, I just, as you were saying that, Stephanie, I know I said something about how Yashua inserted something inside of me in, in a dream. And my, I know this might be TMI, but my cycle, normally my cycle was like every 31, 34 days. Um, it's changing. And I actually noticed on my app that the way it's shifting, I'm more fertile now. And we know that the lady cycle is, and that's weird because I'm pushing for, I tell you guys, like I'm getting younger. Like my body is getting like, I'm pushing 40. I should be looking at my fertility. If I got pregnant right now for my age at 39, I would be considered a geriatric pregnancy. Yeah. You'd be considered high risk. <laughs> yeah. So be like, considered high risk now, like, but yeah, my fertility actually the way it is now. Mm -hmm. Because God wants us to prosper and flourish and have children what the dark ones want is for us not to have children. And if we do, we A, B, O, R, T them yeah. for their own nefarious purposes. Um, but we're supposed to have a lot of children. We're supposed to. Like, that's human nature. And a wonderful new generation of children are supposed to actually come in this Christ consciousness generation where they're going to be teaching humanity going forward. Um, very, very high dimensional beings. And so that's what they've been trying to stop. But what do we want to pull the cards on with that? Is, do we have a sun simulator and a moon simulator that's going to get shut off? Let's ask though. Let's ask something a little bit more practical regarding that. Let's ask about the supernova. 
Is there going to be a supernova? We know there is a supernova coming. Are the, is a the real meteor- one or a fake one? I think a real one. And it's going to, I don't, I don't think it's going to be the controllers that turn the sun off. Is the supernova um, connected to the dissolving of the firmament? Or were, were we even told the right stuff about a supernova? I mean, I got that information from someone I really trust. I know you did. I know exactly who your source is. And I, he knows his stuff. Um, <clears throat> is, that, is there going to be coming fast? Or? Whatever it is, it's coming fast. Okay, let's just ask. Is our... Oh, I'm asking if there's going to be a supernova. Jumping ahead over there. All I can say with my fertility is like, at this point, baby batter is going to find that egg real fast. <sighs> So really, you had to take it there. Yeah, the so ladies, it. if your cycle has changed, just be aware. Just understand what's happening. Every single woman I know who still has a uterus that I've talked to, their cycle and that is ascending, their cycle has changed too. Yeah, like I'm like 22 again. I feel like I'm 22 again with my cycle. <clears throat> and again, I'm pushing 40. I'm gonna get a super. Oh, oh. Are we going to get a super new the look on the bottom of the card, the sun. <laughs> I mean, you can't get any more obvious than that. Um, so I'm going to take the bottom card here and actually use it in my spread. Um, I'm getting a yes, but it's not what we were told. That's what, not, that's what that he said. Yeah. I wonder if this brings us into that wormhole that brings Earth yes. back into the center of the Milky I Way. Think it's okay, take out our fake sun. Like I don't think that the controllers. I think the controllers know it's coming and they're going to try to scare us. And this could cause the three days of darkness. This is saying, do not be yeah, scared because this is what this card literally means. Don't be afraid. Don't have fear. You're fearing for no reason. Um, it is going to happen. Probably not by, I feel like this is like God power right here. Um, it's just going to happen. And it's destined to happen. Um, and I feel like I get the hangman card. But what's interesting about this is I'm literally getting it should be. I got from that that they're going to try to freeze us in fear. Like make us freeze and fear. Oh, could be because I had the hermit card right next yeah. to it. So I think they're gonna. So this is gonna put scared. everybody back in their home. So three days of darkness, put everybody back. Oh, lockdown, lockdown. This is what this is. Got okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry, I'm I'm excited. Um, anything to do with the ascension makes me excited because I was built for this shit. Um. <laughs> Which is why I know I came here for this time period. Um, this is like sitting in your home in the middle of the dark, just vegging out, letting the three days go by of darkness. This is this is like lockdown. That's what that is, lockdown. And there is going to be a little bit of crazies out in the street. If you live in an inner city, and I've had, I don't want to scare anybody. I wasn't going to even say this, but I'm going to say it anyways. And you can delete it if you want after. Um, I've, I've read a couple people um, with my personal readings um, who live in inner cities. There's been a couple of people. And they've asked about moving. And what I get with them is they actually, before they move, they actually just need to focus on getting an escape plan or a secondary plan to remove themselves out of a city yeah. during this time period. Because it's going to be kind of, what I keep getting in my head is the movie The Purge. Yeah. Kind of some crazies out in the street because they're going mad because they have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So if you have relatives um, or you have a place that you might go with your family that's maybe 50 miles outside the city or something like that, it, not, not trying to scare anybody or promoting fear, but <clears throat> there might be some of this going on. This is fighting. Um, I have an escape plan out of Atlanta. I've already have an escape plan. I actually don't want to be in Atlanta anymore. I think I made that pretty clear. I think you'll know I don't want to be in. I'm so over Atlanta. This is my hometown, but I'm just so fucking over it. Um, but I can't move right now because of the spell casting on my channel and all that kind of stuff. 
but um, I do have an escape plan from, I, I know exactly how I'm going to get out of the city if I need to get out of the city fast. So that is really good advice to, especially if you live like in a city like Atlanta, you know, um, LA, New York is on Can a Can I tell you the cities I've seen in my, I, in my, um, I've had several visions even before I was red pilled on what cities were going to get affected by something. I just wasn't sure what it was. I know exactly what cities are heavily going to be affected. It, are you okay with me putting up? Okay. Is it no or yes? Yeah. Okay. This is, and this isn't a scary guys. This is just no, no, no. Power. This is just to get like a secondary power. plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd rather everyone be safe. So it's not about fear at all. It's just about, it's always good to be prepared. Um, so the cities I've seen over and over again in my visions, um, like I said, well, before I was even red pilled and I started the spiritual awakening process and I started getting wild visions. So, um, New York city is the big one. That is the big, big, big one more so than any other city, Boston, Miami. Um, I think it was Dallas. Um, LA, Seattle, Detroit, and Portland, Oregon, Oregon, um, and St. Louis, Missouri. Those are the cities I saw. So if you live in any of those cities, if you live in a city in general, even a puny little one like Hartford, Connecticut, that's the capital of Connecticut, and it's compared to most cities, it's an itty bitty city, but it's still a city. And I was almost hit by a hit and run person on the run in the middle of Hartford one time. So it can get kind of hectic in Hartford. Um, if you live in a city, it's, it's just, it's just good to have a secondary backup plan. Just, just in case, make yeah, sure you know your back say, roads. Yeah. With the, the cities like Atlanta. So Atlanta is different from all the cities in the sense that it is not on a grid system. So Atlanta was never supposed to be a big city. Now we're going to do a show on, I think this was the headquarter of Atlantis, to be honest with you guys. And we're going to do that with the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, but our roads kind of turn and curve. And so we don't have a grid system. And so that's like, if you go to New York or LA, it's on a grid system. Um, and so, cause it, the city kind of grew on itself. And so that's why if you live in a city like that, it's, I, I know exactly how to get out using the back roads. So, um, so just be aware, just be aware. Absolutely. Yeah. Just aware. Don't depend on the interstate highways. Take, know your back roads. Even if you live in a small town like me, know your back roads. It's always good. It's always good to be prepared. You know, have water on hand, have and this is strictly items, from the crazy and beans. Yeah. They've um, brainwashed a lot of people into They've actually M, mm, 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 you guys know what I'm saying? The M, uh, the initials MK, and then whoop, uh, people like us just from the TV. And so they can say certain words. It's going to trigger people to then cause chaos, right? Yeah. Speaking the, of moment, the moment the news says supernova, oh, my God. Yeah, people are going to, don't freak Alien out. Alien invasion. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and meanwhile, I'm going to be sitting on my couch eating my popcorn. Let's do this. <laughs> Do you know the Don't smallest city? Fear. The smallest city I think I've ever been to is Columbus, Ohio. I, when I would go to Columbus, Ohio for work stuff, I was always like, "Where's the city?" <laughs> Coming from Atlanta, I'd be like, "Where okay, is if you it?" Came to Hartford, you'd be like, "Where's the city?" Like, there's like a couple there's no skyscrapers. skyscrapers that's in Hartford. it. Oh, really? Because it was like a couple, and I'm like, "Where's the no, city?" No, no. In Hartford, <laughs> we have very tall buildings. They would not be considered a skyscraper. You have the um, city. Uh, Traveler's Building, that is the tallest one. It almost looks like the Empire State Building in a way because it peaks up at the top. We have some here. Um, yeah. yeah, it's the Bank of America Building here. Yeah, total cabal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, what's our next question? Okay, I want to ask about. Let's see. It's um, <clears throat> we're gonna go backwards a little bit. Um, I well, let's, have it. actually speaking of going backwards, let's just make this clear. We are under the impression that revelation was mixed up. It's not in a linear. Yeah. Time. So, so the thing about revelation to understand is it's a mix of Gog and Magog and Armageddon. First of all, the word Armageddon means spiritual awakening. So it does not mean end of the world. And first of all, when they say end of the world, it's no end of the world as we know it. He said that with that, what's that song. R.E.M. They're, they're from Georgia. They're from Athens, Georgia. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, my, so the guy who sings my opening song, my friend Josh McKay, who sings my opening song, who is in the band Deer Hunter, he's friends with Michael Stipe. Okay. They live in Athens. 
So, yeah. So um, this would be Revelation chapter 6, verses 12. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red and the stars fell to the sky, to, from the sky to the earth. As like figs drop, I can't read today. <laughs> From uh, a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Let's stop there. Now, number one, we keep getting the sun turned black like sackcloth. We, how many eclipses have we had? How well, many that's, part the, that's part of the supernova too. And yeah. We're in eclipse season right now. Yes. And, and I believe that's where they, the sun does come off also too. There's multiple meanings. just like... Uh, Military back channel drops. There's multiple meanings. Like watch the water. That's got multiple meanings. Actually, we um, might have a question about that. Okay. There's a lot of water in this book too, in the book of Revelation too. Okay. And the, we just had a blood a blood moon. Um, the whole moon turned blood red, and I witnessed that with my own dang eyes the other night. Um, and then the heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up. I mean, that's the firmament being dissolved. That's clearly the firmament being dissolved. This is already happening. It, it, is, it is happening. There was a place in Florida where literally a chunk of the firmament just fell down and people were like hitting it with a hammer, a chisel. Yeah, it's happening. And guess what color it was? It was sky blue. So what do you want to ask about that, Bryce? Well, with the water, you say watch the waters. And I'm noticing through Revelation how much they're talking about the water of life, the water, the water. Yeah. Is this referring to the womb? So we're just talking about fertility and women being... Uh, corrected so is this per, per, uh per, is this talking about the womb of the woman yeah because we know i feel like i feel like there's multiple meanings of it but that could be one that would be right and stephanie and i in our conversations offline we always say there's something we're missing with this there's something we're missing with this because we know that the magdalene magdalene meat has something to do with the womb but we're not sure what we can't we it's like we can't quite get all of it um, we know Ma means first light. So um, the water of life. So I'm looking at Revelation 22, uh, 17. The spirit and the bride say, come and let him who hears say, come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. And whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. Is there something about the wo water of a woman that gives immortality? The fountain of youth. Well, what do you think the umbilical cord does? So there's why do you, why do you say why do you save the the umbilical cord when you give birth? Because of the nutrients, the stem cells, stem yeah. cells regrow themselves, immortality. So is that why a lot of women, including myself, are having kind of a correction? Excuse me, a correction in their fertility because we're not even supposed to go through menopause, are we? Nope. And our cycles are not supposed to be painful. Childbirth is not supposed to be painful. Mm -hmm. That was from the Luciferian system. Yeah. And no, it's not because woman created the first sin of BS. I just hope I look cute pregnant. I just look, I hope I look cute for the, for the final. <laughs> I could care less. About you. Bad. I just don't want to be, my sister looked cute pregnant. My sister was that pregnant woman that, from behind you couldn't tell she was pregnant so yeah i pulled cards on the whole woman thing this is actually a child okay so that could mean um pregnancy children coming through yeah, christ consciousness this is, yeah yeah and it's um coming to earth because the four of pentacles is like holding on to something i also often could be holding card, on to our own youth that too this card I associate a lot with grounding, like root chakra, because it's holding on. It's like the root holding on to something. Yeah. Reverses age. Reverses age. So having Christ consciousness children. Why well, do you think it's going to? So and this might be a little bit too graphic. So if the woman is the provider of the water of life. And she makes love to a man. Does the man then take that essence up with him as well? Especially if they are contracted twin flames or 
sole contract. Can we ask it? Um, can we just say, is this the fountain of youth? The woman? Yeah. The womb. The Listen, water. I am the fountain of youth, girl. Mm -hmm. There's a fountain of youth in I'm Atlanta. I'm just joking. What? There's a fountain of youth in Atlanta. It's under Pont City Market, but it's for the, for the other team. It's not for our team. So our woman... Women who are giving birth to Christ consciousness or just women in general? In general. Is she a woman function of youth? So, and guys, just think about like what happens in um, front hugging, front hugging. <laughs> trying, I'm trying to code my words here. <laughs> um, there's a minor in the room. Yeah. Is there, is there an essence that's shared, right? Collect like shared. Cause we know that we know that involves the sharing of karma. Like that's not why, that's why brahmacharya in the yoga world is very important because you're going to be, when you front hug, you share karma with someone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Sometimes it's a back hug. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's a side <laughs> hug. Sometimes you see a bottle wow, sometimes. Sure it's going to be a levitating hug. <laughs> Y'all know there's a minor in the room with Stephanie right now, so we're trying to like go with this. this so hugging, is very, <laughs> hugging can be very, let's just put it this way hugging can be very messy, right? So. That's mine. They're mine. They're mine. I'm going to shut up. So is that, but is that messiness? Is that part of, is there something like, I'm that trying to, us, that brings us to that, that tarot reader we watch who shuffling Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And then she talks about that stuff. I'm like, about wet front hugging. Yeah. She's like, Holy <laughs> Spirit, you're going to have some wet front hugging. I don't love That's it. what the Holy Spirit says, guys. That's what, you ain't going to find that in the Bible. Oh, girl, girl, you're going to lick it like a lollipop. She said that in one of her readings, and I was like, oh, my God, I love this girl. You're going to look it like a lollipop. She gets very graphic, and she's not apologetic about it either. Oh, no. I love her. I love her for it. Um, so back to the question. I, I don't think the woman necessarily is the founties. I think the act. The act itself. That you were just talking about. Which is the solar flare. Yeah. So oh I have God, this. That's twin flame. That with the two of cups and the lover's card, that's like, boom, there you go. Apparently oh it's gotta be, apparently it's gotta be really fast. <laughs> you know, there are men, men watching right now. They're like, I knew it. I knew it. This is why I needed that all the time. <laughs> that's what they're saying to themselves. I knew it. He's like, Who, whoever finishes first wins. I knew it. Take a think of separate guys. Okay. Just keep the comments. Keep, keep the comments with us. appropriate, please. Our side has a sense of humor. We can have a sense of humor about this, right? We're, we're adults. We're all adults. Yeah. Put we have up. an option when we upload a video to say if it's appropriate for kids or not. And I always click the no. Yeah, I know. Because, Mine yeah. are never appropriate for kids. Um, um, yeah. So, okay. So. That was hilarious. That connects back to the video with the Moses or where we talked yeah. about Moses. We, okay. Yeah. All right. So, it's, so it's, back to Blood Moon and... <coughs> And the sun turning black like sackcloth. So I want to ask if that has anything to do with the sun simulator being turned off and the blood moon being like a sign that it's about to turn off. Okay. Sorry, guys. The, the skinny little thing over here, my cutie cutie, he thinks he's a kitty cat. Well, why you do that? I am sweating right now like a horror church. So since I have limited time to film, I'm going to go, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go change my pants quickly while you pull your card. So I will oh be right back guys. Otherwise I would cut this out, but I have limited time today. I'm literally like drenched in sweat right now. Welcome. How, to how hot is it in Atlanta? It's 90 well, here in Connecticut. Know. It's probably in the nineties right now. I've just got like boob sweat and it's hot as balls outside. And I got to go change my pants. I'll be See, right. That doesn't make any sense to me. And I'll explain to you after you come back. Sweat? No. How does balls? 
Balls hang outside the loin of the body to remain cool. Have you ever smelled those balls? They always smell like... <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Hi, everyone. All right. So we're asking, is the blood moon the sign that the sun simulator will be turned off? Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. You came back just in time. Look at the sweat. I'm telling you, see? Hot in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. So I asked specifically if the blood moons that have been happening are a sign that the sun simulator is going to get turned off. This is putting something to rest, sleep. Then I have secrets. Yep. Underneath the surface. Um, also, this card is kind of like the major arcana of the, um, I'm sorry, this is kind of almost like the moon card. So it has a lot of lunar energy behind it, I feel like, intuitively, I feel. And then I do get the Ace of Wands. So, yeah. Well, where was your mind going? Because I saw the look on your face. You've already said that. That looks like, anyway. Everybody, Bryce's mind is. I'm very excited about this ascension process, just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so I've got like 20 minutes, 30 minutes okay. max before I have to go teach my class. Okay, I'm really curious. So um, let's ask if the sun simul if the sun simulator is literally going to be turned off, and they're going to say it's a supernova. Okay. Okay, and okay. then. We can go wherever you want in the, the scripture. Is the sun simulator going to be turned off? Wine cards. And we can always do a part two, guys. So it, you it, might need to. Yeah. If you guys have questions about Revelation, put it in the comment section below. On, in all seriousness, on both Stephanie and my videos, when we load it up to the channels, and we can do a part two. So this is like out in the cold for a temporary amount of time. Okay, again, we have the secrets card, but it's for our greatest and highest good. It will be shot off with that card, and we're walking away from the old. So this is actually like going somewhere for yeah. your higher good. This is like my dark to light card. Right. It's like, I want to see that five of pentacles. I think it's, it's painful yet temporary. So it's going to, we might actually feel physical pain when they, because our, our body has become dependent upon a fake sun. You it's might like have like symptoms of like anxiety and depression temporarily. I well, feel like because the sun helps with that. Yeah. So just know it's temporary. It's not, it's not permanent. All right. Do you want to talk about the five month thing in the Bible? Where was that? Where did we find that? Sorry about that. Okay. So you, where do we find the, the five month thing that we found the other day? Oh, um, okay. It is, um, <coughs> I know where it is. Okay. Um, it's chapter nine, verses seven. The locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. On their heads, they wore something like crowns of gold, and their faces resembled human faces. Their hair was like woman's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. They had tails with stingers like scorpions and their tails. They had power to torment people for five months. They had as kings over them, the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek, Apollon, that is destroyer. Um, the reason I bring this particular scripture up is because for the last five months specifically, I don't know if you want to go into. Yeah, I've been attacked brutally. I, brutally. And there's other people we know. I've had, not like you, but I've had a lot of minor attacks, especially in the last week. We know of a couple other people that are working for the light that have had attacks. Um, but these people, this is clearly talking about a shapeshifter. Yeah. Who Multiple shapeshifters who have who have this, uh, they're given permission to torment for five months. I know intuitively we're at the end of that five months 
And so I wanted to look into this with the cards because I think that this is talking about what's actually been happening to you, Bryce. What's happening to a lot of people who are of the light, who are, what do we want to call this? Uh, people who are pretending to be somebody like us. Yeah. They're pretending to be uh, truthers. They're pretending to be, they glow a golden glow like we do. They're using the essence of our natal charts. I mean, I can't, I mean, I cannot wait actually to sit down one day and tell you guys everything I've been through. I have been physically assaulted more times in this five months than ever before. So yes, this is it. I asked specifically if this particular thing was flying off the handle. Um, the beauty of going in my studio. Okay. I asked specifically if the um of this passage in the bible had something to do with the attacks that have been happening um with uh so-called uh impersonators or uh shapeshifters who are yeah uh skim artists stuff like that you know where i'm going with that <coughs> we're pretending to be on the truth or side of things um attacking others who are of the light who are of light workers, who are empaths that are on this side, just trying to help humanity out right now using a YouTube channel or a Rumble channel or a BitChute channel, whatever the it may be. Yeah. Um, and I got a yes. This is a yes. I can pull more clarifying unless you want me to go into something different. Um, we can pull more clarifying and I'll explain it, guys. Mid-May was the five-month mark when all this started for me. And I literally have been pushed back in December. I was on the brink of death. I was being so I've had bruises, blood. I mean, the other day I got knocked over while I was practicing and somebody else saw it and was like, what was that? Cause I literally just got pushed like against the wall. Um, but that felt like a temper tantrum that didn't feel strategic. So it kind of made me laugh. Um, so this has been brutal and I've been attacked my whole life spiritually. I'm not, I'm not a stranger to this. But these last five months have been non-stop. So non-stop assault while <laughs> the life for force is being drained out of me by them using my natal chart because our Akashic records, our natal charts are actually ingrained in our, in our body. And so when they pull and use it, they're pulling your life force out of you. So, and it's, it's, it's eased up. I feel more powerful now at the five month, month mark. There's a lot that actually came out of this. So my cards are pretty insignificant, but I'm actually getting massive downloads from them. So number one, this is God's way of actually showing who these people are because they were not. A lot of people, people know now. Not a lot, people I get, you would just know about right off. Yeah. Like they're not, they don't have their faces on mainstream media. They don't have their faces out there for all to see. This was God's way of exposing them. We have the justice card here. There's actually a lot of karma with this. This coven goes back eons. This coven goes back eons. It, they're the same ones attacking the same exact people over and over. It's their end. It's they're they're done. They're done. And so, it you know for you, Bryce, or even for me in the last week, or you know other people who are victims of this, it's like we feel trapped. We this is also there's many people that are on the good side. They have a handler. That this is what that card is. Yep. They have a handler. Yeah. There are many people you watch on their YouTube that have handlers now, and I know you guys are figuring out who it is because people email me all the time and tell tell me that their channel's gotten super weird and it's the same guest. There's a few channels that I've gotten like, what the hell is happening? Range. Yeah, oh, oh, guests are off now, and that they're they're being handled there, and that's yeah. what happens in Hollywood too. They don't know they've gotten a handler, and all of a sudden they have a fucking handler. Yeah. This is what God, what the devil designed for evil, God makes for good. This is, they're going to have to surrender. So it's like that five month mark. Yep. One of them is doing a ceremony on June 6th of 2022, which is what, Stephanie? 666. They tell you. They tell you. The same truth or. We have a picture of a picture of a Baphomet painting on her wall. They they're telling you. They're telling you who they are. They have to tell you. That's part of the religion. Yeah, the they have to tell you. Religion, they have to tell you everything. We're not trying to scare anybody, but you, you need to open your eyes. And, you know, 
I, I guess I'm the, the one that comes on your show where we talk about this the most. I, you talk about this with Shanti, I think, right? Too? Sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, but you've the been reason, there the mm-hmm. whole time. I mean, my yeah. grandfather came through in that reading with you and Tamara to thank you for being there for me yeah. um, during these. I, I can't and like. He, he also said it's it's over. It's over. Spirit's done. Spirit world's yeah. done. He said they, they said the spirit realm. He said the spirit realm is done. Yeah, there was, um, I'm not going to go too, too far into it because it was my chart reading um, with the beautiful, wonderful Tamara. We love her. Um, and <clears throat> my grandfather also came in. Apparently, he likes to mess with me, which he did that anyways when he was alive. Um, tick, does something with my ears, um, which not shocking at all. But anyways, um, they, they both were saying that this, this, period this this time period where um this torment that's talked about in the bible torment it's it's coming to an end it's coming to an end so um also what month means in the physical realm might also be a little bit different in the quantum realm so there is a little bit of a difference but um i will say this bryce you look healthy you have been kicking some serious ass you know and um you know, nothing really has been, you know, so what? They knocked you down the other day. Obviously, I laughed about it. Yeah. I, at that point, I was like, oh, that felt like a temper tantrum. Because yeah. a lot of these attacks feel very strategic, like they're trying to do something. But that felt like a fucking temper tantrum. I was like, oh, you mad? There's no, like, even with what I've experienced this week. So I saw some, I saw a couple feet walking across my floor in my studio this week. And then all of a sudden, the backdrop was swaying, which... That's not why I'm not in there. It's, it's hot as hell in here. I, I, it's 90 degrees outside. <clears throat> I have no AC in my studio. Um, but it was like the person was trying to scare me. I know exactly who it is. And I just like laughed my ass off about it. I was in the middle of a group meeting. And it was like even when I was trying to get any of my words out, I started having coughing fits. Coughing fit up. It's like some, you know, and I know exactly what it was. Um, and I've had some healing done and everything, and I've had some weird, weird, well, Bryce, you know, weird shit happened this week, to say the least. And it's like, there's no, like, organization behind it. It's just yeah. like a, just, it's, yeah, it, it's just like, like a wild friendship. animal yeah, um, up against a wall. And, um, you know, I just want to let you guys know that this, this, this spiritual battle has been very intense. And good people don't think when they meet someone that there's that they're, if you're a good person, you think everyone's a good person. Mm -hmm. So for the massive amount of truthers out there that now have handlers accidentally got handlers, please don't blame them. They are now in a very precarious position. I know they are. And they're in a very, yeah, they are in love. Yeah. And I I was telling Stephanie today, like, I'm actually really grateful to be in the position I am because I don't have a handler. I know people try to be my handler. I see that now. It never worked. I um, recognize somebody who tried to be my handler yesterday um, who infiltrated something. I, and I don't want to go into details or anything because I don't want people to freak out or anything, but I'm well aware of the situation. I know exactly who it was. And the moment I started catching on to all the truths going on, that person scrammed out of my life. They got panicked. Yeah. Very um, panicked. Yeah. And that's what makes me the maddest is that these handlers, this coven that works there, we think they're being paid by the, either the Vatican or the Royal family or something. They're being paid off. But what makes me upset is that they use my natal chart to manipulate. That's what pisses me off. But I also use sob stories, huge, huge. Some of them use really, really like soap opera as the world turns the bold and the beautiful sob stories, like from the church. And um, I mean, I have a I have a story from the church, but it's I, I'm talking it's it's a story that is just bizarre. you know truth you know it truth never truth. adds up yeah it just doesn't add yeah. up and so I'm not saying you know before you trust anybody just listen first to your about, get to know them first if you don't know them in person take you with a grain of salt yeah if you don't well, know me. Take don't me give anybody your birth information, guys, if you don't know them. I trust Tamara with my life. She's amazing. Yeah. But do not get a chart reading done. They're selling that shit on the black market to other sorcerers, guys. Stop it. Especially if it's cheap. Stop it. Be smart. 
be smart. Your birth chart information holds information about your Akashic records, which is in your DNA. And so when they have that information, they can pull your essence of life out of you. And they can sell that to other people practicing black magic so they can do whatever they're doing. Do not be stupid. And if you give them money and tell them to do it, you're consenting to that. Stop it. Watch the symbolism. They tell you, they tell you there, there were some numbers that were telling you with one person doing it, they put 33% off. They're telling you, stop it. Stop it. Be safe. Be smart. Okay. I will say this. Emmy's just learning birth charts. And um, hmm? yeah, she's, she's a of the light. Um, I would, I would, I pay her to do my birth chart just to learn. Um, Cause I, but I've known Emmy for like six, seven months at this point in time, but um, I just wanted to put that out there. So yeah, no just, just understand it. guys. If something is, if something feels weird, it probably is not. And be, be aware guys, they know how to spell cast numbers too. So they can make it look like there are lots of numbers and lots of viewers on a show when they're not. And they also use you. numbers to manipulate and say that it's God's numbers. No. Yeah. They, they do it to trick you. They're tricking you. Yeah. My numbers have been suppressed. It's not mathematically possible. How many do we think my channel actually has now, Stephanie? We were Up doing in the 90 thousands. I yeah. would say at this and point I, in time, I and mean, you're still in the, you've been in the 45, 47 range for six months. December. That's actually impossible. It's, it's impossible. impossible on YouTube. Yeah. And my money, I know I can't, my AdSense is sending the money for my videos to another account. That's not mine. I can't get it to release. This is black, black magic guys is real. It's real. But I don't, at this point, I know that God is using all of this information to. Yeah. It, and to end it to the, their powers are very limited at this point. Um, again, we're not promoting fear. <clears throat> just be smart. Knowledge yeah, is just, power. We need to stop uh, being the same way we were prior to the great awakening. Um, and even before you trust me or Bryce, yeah, I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me with you yourself. Know. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not, well, I'm not selling you anything to begin with. I'm not, and we're both not perfect. And we're the first ones to tell you we're not perfect. Um, I'm okay with being wrong. I'm, I try to remain very humble because that's, like I said earlier, that's a pet peeve of mine. Um, I try to be as authentic as possible. I'm not here to be famous. That's the other part. I could care less about fame. Um, I just want to help people. Yeah. And if that's just, from one sentence I say in one video that helps you out, great. If you don't resonate with me at all, that's perfectly fine too. Um, that's why I always say we're all just walking each other home. I started my channel so that we could learn together, so that we yeah. could figure this out together as a collective. Not that I have all the answers. I want to hear it. That's why I love having the comment. I feel like when you leave comments and contribute to the conversation, it's like you're at the round table too. And we're just all learning together and figuring this out together. But Stephanie, I literally have three minutes before I have to sign out and go teach my class. Okay. Um, so guys, leave us a question. We'll do a part two because I know there's more things we yeah. want to talk about in Revelation. So we'll definitely do a part two this week. But leave us any of your questions down in the comment section too. Do you want to just pull a couple of cards? Let's ask Magdalene what she wants to let us know today in this here now moment or whenever the person is watching this. What does Magdalene want to tell everybody? I love her. I love her. I do too. She's such a queen, isn't she? Um, she's 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 feisty. Yeah, she's a queen. She's not gonna be doing no dishes. Let me tell you that. <laughs> she's feisty. Okay. So those who had power of magic for nefarious ways. It's now going to be switched over. And I feel like to do something with the moon, literally. <clears throat> That's the womb. So anything that you're going to try to do spell-wise with the new moon coming up, because that's another thing that they use the moon, they harness energy from the moon, it's not going to work um, because we're walking into a new generation. Literally, we're picking up the old, we're dropping the old swords, walking with the new swords, going on to the next. It's your power's done. And that's what she wants to say. And I would interpret these cards a little bit differently, but that's what I intuitively was getting. I was like, whoa, it like hit me. 
when I picked up the, when I saw the cards. So oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. Yeah. About this, but the she's spirit pissed. realm as a whole is quite irritated, and people <clears throat> they the the good, souls of light are of love and light. They they don't want to see anybody suffer. They don't want to see pain. Um, and so, and that's, and they help guide us through all of that too. So like you told me earlier today, uh, Bryce, they get tired sometimes, correct? So yeah, that comes from the law of one that, that they get, they go, they're here. They, you have bodyguards too. That's in rebirth. Yeah. That just popped out. But anyways, yeah. So that's the message. And all right, take guys, it, take it or leave it. So I'm going to have, I got to go teach now, but I'm going to have Stephanie divinate to figure out what day Magdalene wants this released. And then we'll figure out part two later on this week for you guys, please. Any questions you have, we love getting your questions about revelation. If you have any questions, any concerns that you want Stephanie to address, um, leave them in the comment section below. Stephanie, I'm also going to be putting your email address to book uh, sessions with you in the description. No, box. no, my, my booking, my booking website. Okay. Will you send that to me? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to be putting Steph's uh, Venmo down in the description box too, in case you want to tip her. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Please, please, please don't be in a, in a vibration of fear. Anything we're telling you is knowledge is literally power and knowledge is infinite. It, it never ends. We're always learning. So understand that you are such a special human being. You had seniority to, as I had an orb go by, you have seniority yeah. to be here because you, your soul can take it. And just know, you know, Mr. T says, which that's what, something where we're going to get to in Revelation as well, which we'll get to next time. Uh, Mr. T says the best yet to come, but I'm going to up it and say, just know some of the best days of your life haven't even happened yet. So please know that this is a really awesome time to be alive. Don't drop your guard. We're still in a war, but understand how valuable you are and just keep that vibration high because that's what they're trying to alter right now. So. All right, guys, we love you very much. Love each other. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.